Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got an update on the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system. We'll see a surprise finding about the solar storm vulnerability in the UK, and we'll confirm the same for the most populated places in the United States. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star where things were exceptionally quiet. The sunspots all appear to be in decay. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. The corona hole will face Earth tonight, and its solar wind is due to arrive at Earth this weekend. Now let's take a closer look at those sunspots. All smaller, some decayed away entirely. We do have more spots coming over the limb the next few days, but these ones are pretty much done unless they take a serious turn and start growing again. Corona hole is pretty solidly set from the equator up into the north isolated from the polar region. Its alphane waves will begin to arrive tonight and the solar wind will impact geomagnetically likely on Sunday. We'll be watching for that this weekend. But now let's go to TRAPPIST-1. This system has been dazzling astronomers and sparking imaginations worldwide since its discovery several years ago. James Webb just scoped Planet D. It was one of their favorite candidates for an atmosphere like Earth, but they saw nothing that signaled anything of the sort. In fact, Planet D may just be a rocky world. They are scoping the outer planets next, and anyone that was here back when they were discovering this system heard me say this several times. It's Planet E and F that have my attention for that atmosphere, not D. And for life overall, I actually think the best bet is under the ice on H. We'll see what Webb says in the coming weeks. Folks, solar storm vulnerability was once thought to be all about latitude, closer to the poles, closer to danger. But since then, infrastructure density and geology have shown to be equally important. Here, they're confirming that concept with the finding that central England is at major risk from solar storm induction. Most in that region thought Scotland was most at risk, but it's actually the most populated portion of the island. And we've got something similar in the United States, where infrastructure density is a magnet for induction. Many of you have also noticed it on the geoelectric maps. It's the East Coast, Appalachia region, the Midwest Population Corridor, and then also Southern California. A new study is focusing on the eastern portions of those zones, the Northeast, Appalachia, and the Midwest, and confirming that they do appear to have the strongest vulnerability to solar storm induction. The yellow is where things are likely to go down first from the sun. The safest zones, by the way, are the Rockies and the northwestern side of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Pennsylvania. Folks, the next issue of Observer Review comes out tomorrow. Our e-magazine is the only publication in the world actively following the sun, weather, earthquakes, and the magnetic pole shift on a monthly basis. This month, we hit the deadly nature of magnetic pole shifts along with many other solar forcing and space weather topics. Link to join is below and you'll get access to every issue ever when you sign up. It's about two or three books worth of material for less than a combo meal at a fast food restaurant. Folks, we've got a pole shift conference coming later this month. There's one in September, too, along with Dr. Dunning coming to Founders Weekend. Anybody around this weekend, we are doing the Dog Days of Summer Family Fun Event on Saturday. I'll be out there, and it should be a good time. There's more coming in October and November as well, including our second Observer Speed Dating and Connections event. The first one was mind-blowing. Whether you just want to meet other observers or find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord, turns out Observer Ranch was a major spark of light the first time around. November 7th and 8th, that's round two. Find a time to come see us. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com link to get the e-magazine is below and we greatly appreciate your support we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone